Hey everyone, Ewol here. I finally got access to Arena and I've put a lot of time into it already, close to like 20 hours in just two days alone. I tried to avoid watching other YouTube videos similar to the one that I'm making now so that I could voice my own unaltered opinions on Arena and kind of avoid the echo chamber effect. My initial opinion is that Arena is definitely worth playing because of all of the exciting features and challenges that it possesses. I'll go into more detail shortly. I'm going to start off the video by saying three suggestions to help you improve your experience getting started. These are going to be things that I wish I had done starting out, followed by three pros, things going for Arena, and then three things that could definitely use some work. As for my initial suggestion, find a team to play with. Because unless you're Tarkov Jesus, you can't carry every single game solo. It makes it so much more enjoyable if you're able to find friends to talk and laugh with. And there are plenty of discords out there to find people to play with. I always recommend my own discord or the official discord. Recommendation number two is to play maps that complement your loadout. This may be fairly obvious, but sometimes that's the thing that people overlook. And then they wonder why they're doing so bad. If you're using a sniper, queue up on bowl, sawmill, and air pit. If you have a close range loadout like a shotgun, go bay, five, or equator. I'm sure your team will be more than willing to compromise and go different maps for you. And if not, you can always find a new team. Suggestion number three, before you play a single game, spend 10 to 15 minutes examining the different trees. See what loadouts that you're going to have to use as you progress. Because once you get to tier three or tier four, you're stuck with that loadout for 20 plus games. Let's get into the pros that Arena has going for it. Pro number one is that if you have regular Tarkov and you struggle with gear fear, you're broke, you keep losing kits, or anything else, this will allow you to play more aggressively and build your confidence. The amount of actual combat experience you gain compared to Tarkov is insane. Think about how many raids you spend 15 minutes or more just wandering the map, looting, not hearing a single gunshot, only to get shot in the back of the head out of nowhere. Pro number two. It is much easier to get in and out of games compared to Tarkov. It may still have load times and choosing loadouts, but we all have that friend that has to double, triple, and even sometimes quadruple check their loadout that they already took 15 minutes to make, as well as five more minutes to load in. Pro number three is being forced to use funky loadouts and try different weapons that pushes you out of your comfort zone. It isn't always a bad thing. A lot of you won't know this, but I used to stream Tarkov, and some of my favorite things from streaming were the wacky viewer kits that I had to play with. Starting out, that definitely helped me to make fast decisions and think on the spot whenever I was lacking painkillers or food or other things. Let's get into the cons. And there's a couple that are very glaring, and I'm sure a lot of other people have discussed them. The number one is the way that Battlestate rolled this out. They did a terrible job, and they pissed a lot of people off. Not only did they give exclusive access to streamers, which in some regards I can understand they wanted to promote it and let people watch it who were really wanting to play it, but it drove a wedge even farther between streamers and the average player. There's a pretty good chance they lost some loyal fans of the game because of the way they rolled this out. It's, what, four days since the release? And I personally still have friends that can't even join yet. If this is their esports title and they want it to be equal, how the hell are they going to give all the big streamers and YouTubers who already dedicated so much time to the game a four-day lead on everybody else and then expect others to be able to compete as far as rank and gear. Number two kind of plays off of number one. That's going to be gear disparity because the difference between tier two and tier three gear is a pretty massive jump in some of the categories. And it can really slingshot some teams ahead. Now this is also going to be very much amplified because of the way that this was launched and rolled out and how many people are ahead of everybody else is just now getting into the game. But yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. Con number three is the way that BSG handles balancing. You could be 40 games into trying to get Brigadier like I was, and then they do a sudden change that completely guts the loadout. Luckily for me, that wasn't the case. 
but the issue remains and there is no way to transfer progress to another tree so you you're just out those 40 games and you're stuck grinding a different tree to try and get a competitive loadout one extra con that i'm going to say is going to be audio related and it's the fact that spectators are able to hear so much farther than the person actually playing the game and it's very unfair for people that are playing solo when they're up against a team with extra communications and whatnot i know that they already addressed the loudspeaker the arena commentator and they reduced the volume on him but just give us a damn slider he's so freaking loud The footage you guys have been watching in the background has been my very first game of Arena. I ended up going a different tree, so some of my later videos won't be following that same tree. I hope you all have a great holiday. I'll be taking a small break, or at very least my next few videos will be very lightly edited. If you have any comments, concerns, or just want to share your opinion, feel free to comment down below. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and like the video. Nice. There's two guys on right of plane. He's coming to you. Oh, that's blue. Oh, it's a fucking tank. For anybody that's unaware, in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now, the dots represent how many people are left on each team, and the score is represented on the scoreboard. No. How many are, uh, are, how many players on their team are left? I don't know, I haven't. I wonder why my thing's not letting me do my scroll to heal thing. Where's the objective? I actually need to get to that. That's green smoke on the opposite side of you. On release, I wonder why it's not letting me. Can you TK in this? Our teammate said he was in the tower. Okay. I think he was saying they keep going to the towers. He stays on the tower already. Good to know, good to know. Who's shooting right now, right there? That full auto, was that blue or red? I don't know.
I'm hit hard from like our spawn direction. He's up in that tower. Yeah, yeah, we're from the. Jesus, bro. All right, I'm picking it up a little bit. These guys get in the tower so fast. I'm gonna do a counter camp shit, bro. I'm gonna jump up in this tower before he can even try. Where's this tower even at? Oh, I can't stop shivering, bro. I'm so cold. It's this way. I right, see it now. There's another one on their side, though, on the right. I'm gonna go straight up that thing and just lay down for on and wait for him. They were going to our tower, too. Yeah, they did last round. Oh, these come in this room. This guy hit by the Mosin. Blue killed one of ours. Have we killed any of those yet? I don't think so. We killed one of those. I see a blue on the ground. In there a tower on the right side? Alright, we gotta watch for the objective. Good shit, bro. Oh my god, dude. I'm about to put a space heater on. Dude, you're fucking freezing. I am, bro. Yeah. It's not even that cold. I don't know why I'm freezing. I got a hitter on me. But that's how my little room is heated up. Killed one nice. of those. <laughs> I killed one on top of that guy. There's one on their tower. Yeah. There's one on their tower. The one on the tower is that hard. Okay. I'm starting to get it. Imagine if you could take their arm tags. <laughs> what the fuck? He said he was red, but he was blue. <laughs> Yo, the amount of suppressive fire I just received. Hold on. I'm dead. Oh, he is so low, bro. 
Am I the last one alive? Yeah. Oh. There's two more of them. Green smoke left, far, far left. Ooh, that was lucky, there's two behind you. I was prone out, bro. My head, huh? There you go. Just watch that direction. You got it. GG. Good shit, bro. You're a legend. You're a legend, bro. Oh, I saw the wrong. Yeah. Wait, that's it? It's like five. First of five. Okay, so we gained. I gained 99k. I gained 97. Level two. 